Hey Cougar fans and welcome back to CUC Men's Lacrosse Weekly. I'm Parker Kelly of the Cougar Sports Network and I'm once again joined by head men's lacrosse coach Scott Gwynn. Coach, how are you doing today? I'm doing all right. And yourself? I'm doing all right. Thank you. Well, the Cougars finished their final home game of the regular season last mm. Wednesday against IIT. We talked about that group of seniors and it was a really big day for Aiden Beasy and mm. Andrew Lechuga as they both scored in the match. How important was that game to cap off the senior's career here? Well, I think you can sort of embody how important that was in what happened after the game when several seniors collectively went to the center of the field. And in that moment of reverence, you sort of think about all the memories you've had there. And I think to have those little moments, even though we, you know, we didn't get the result we wanted, to have those little moments as your final testament to, I did everything I could. I played the best game I could. I did everything I could. I stand, you know, I stood for what I could. Um, I think is really important, and to to send off a couple of those those upperclassmen that are you know are graduating or you know moving on with their lives, so to speak. Uh, I think it's very important for them to have those highlights to think back on. You don't want your last game at home to be filled with you know regrets or sad memories. You want to say, I did something that I normally didn't do. Or I did something spectacular, and always have that core memory because that's what unites the guys together long term and you know after our last game against Aurora I mentioned that to our guys you know the, the biggest benefit about being on a team is not all the highlights and everything it's the memories you share together and you think about those five you know 10 15 years down the line even and I think for them it was very very important to have that big moment of I took it to them mm -hmm. I did what I could I took it to them and I did it at my home Right, and the Cougars finished off the week at mm -hmm. Edgewood College last Saturday. Zach Cicero scored a hat trick, mm -hmm. the second time he's done that this season. Unfortunately, the Cougars dropped the game. Mm -hmm. What were your takeaways from that game, and what did you notice from your team that kind of needs a little bit of improvement? Yeah, so biggest takeaway for us is that the offense, we could re you know, quite literally and realistically just plug and play. The, the guys understood the system so well that regardless of what six we had out there, they were able to perform and get looks. I mean, I think we had 36 shots on the day or something like that, which was our second highest total of the year. They were clicking, they were firing, we just couldn't get it in net. And I think that the uh, biggest takeaway for us is, okay, we have a lot we can build on in the offensive end. It works. It works for them, and they understand it, and they know how to play together. So that was great to see the chemistry on the other side. Uh, defensively, sort of things to improve on. Um, understanding our... Our, you know, our, our scout, our systems against a specific team a little bit more. I think that we needed to place a little bit more emphasis earlier in that preparation for Edgewood than maybe we did. That, you know, we skipped over a few looks here and there by accident, or we didn't quite understand where we were supposed to rotate and when we were supposed to rotate, and Edgewood took advantage. I mean, that's a very talented offense. So I, I think that biggest takeaway for defense and what to improve on was, okay, we definitely need to be more flexible and adaptable and we definitely need to know what we're doing in a stronger capacity than maybe what we did for that game. And the Cougars capped off the regular season last mm -hmm. night at Aurora University and there was a or there, there's an exhibition scheduled for Friday against yep. St. X. Yep. What was kind of the reasoning on plan planning that exhibition game? Was mm -hmm. it to get guys more looks or just a little bit of extra practice to end the regular season? Yeah, so it was definitely a late addition. It wasn't originally planned at the beginning of the season. And I want to thank Coach Haggerty over at St. Xavier for giving us that opportunity. Um, I think just for the seniors, we knew that it was going to be a tough game against Aurora. And they wanted to, one, potentially end the game, end a season with a home game, or have a game where it was just about celebrating the fact that it was going to be their last hurrah together. And I think that having this opportunity against St. Xavier, sort of giving the, the guys their last, especially the seniors, what, what they asked for with that last, I want us to, to end on a celebration, right? It'd be like... Um, ending on a buzzer beater if you were playing basketball. You know, that, that's sort of the same mentality. They want to cap it off with something so fun and spectacular that that's the way they remember all their successes. And so I've been telling them that for this, this game that we picked up against St. Xavier, this game is not about just we go out and execute. It's we need to show that we can believe in ourselves, that we can bet on ourselves, that we had a lot of success this year and it's going to culminate in that game. We're going to demonstrate all the progress we've made, all the improvements, all the what we can look forward to 
in that game there. So I think it'll be a very special game and one that will leave the seniors smiling and laughing regardless of what happens as, as the result um, because, you know, it is an exhibition, so there's a little bit lower stakes. And so it's more of a celebration of we are a team and we have one another and we're always going to have one another. And the best way to celebrate that is to go out and get those last couple reps together sort of thing. So that's, that was what we were excited for with the St. Xavier matchup. And um, me personally, what I'm looking forward to is I'm looking forward to seeing them play a little bit more relaxed. I mean, conference play, those are your rivals. Right. Right. So you're tense, you're focused, everything was so serious all the time. And lacrosse is one of the most for fun sports in the world, and it'll be exciting to have them be able to get back to that. Absolutely, and that's a great way to cap mm -hmm. off the season for sure. Well, that about does it for our time today on CUC Men's Lacrosse Weekly. I'd like to thank you, Coach Gwen, for coming on, and congratulations on hard fought season. <laughs> thank you so much. And we'll be back next week for our final edition of Men's mm -hmm. Lacrosse Weekly. And for everything CUC Men's Lacrosse, head over to the athletics website at cucougars.com. I'm Parker Kelly signing off. We'll see you one last time next week on CUC Men's Lacrosse Weekly. Go Cougars.